Good morning everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. I hope you're all really, really well. Um, I'm in and out of London all week this week and then I'm on a trip off to Kent to stay in this amazing castle um, with some friends and for Roe Copenhagen, which is a Danish jewellery brand. Uh, I'm going into London today to stay with Lizzie because we go tomorrow, but I'm going to go and shoot first. Then I've got a meeting with Jane from Dear Francis who makes the most amazing shoes. I'm sure you've seen me wear lots of flip-flops and boots and things by her before. Um, and then yeah, then me and Lizzie are going to get our heads together and get season two podcast underway. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for my taxi because it's about a 25 minute walk to the station and um, I've got a big old case with me because I've got loads to shoot, loads to do. It's not the best weather today, so I'm really hoping it just holds out while I get this shoot done. Um, let alone the fact that I've got mules on and I really don't want to change them. <laughs> um, I also wanted to show you this jacket. I'm literally, <coughs> oh, excuse me, obsessed with it. It's by Free People and it's like really slouchy and just so good as a chuck on bomber for like spring, summer. I'll show you now, hang on. Hello. So yes, oh my God, it's amazing. It's like padded, but not. It's just like super, super soft. I've rolled the sleeves up a bit and it's just really, really baggy. I've got like a linen shirt on underneath, um, but it's just such a good chuck on. Really, really love it. So I'll put the link on for you anyway, because it's bloody gorgeous. Um, I'll take you along where I can today. Obviously I'm just gonna be back to back shooting and just getting sorted. So I will catch up as soon as I can. See you later. Hello everyone, I've not vlogged today because it's been a day. It's been a long, long day. I'm at Lizzie's now. <laughs> She's had a really long day as well. I'm not, everything that's gone wrong could go wrong today. Lizzie's just, <laughs> just went down. <laughs> She's just pulled the favorite jumper out of the washer. <laughs> she didn't say anything, but she had a funny look on her face. And I went, is that shrunk? And she was like, together it's all bunched up <laughs> it was a really big oh, oversized long one wasn't it i loved this jumper so much i'm so upset it snuck into the wash somewhere oh, oh it was a waste i fed lynn's undercooked chicken <laughs> we had to put it back in the oven honestly it's good to be back in london isn't it what, what a day it? it's pissed it down all day as well so now we're dressed like this i'm in lizzie's comfy clothes because i failed to pack any. I've bust the crotch on my jeans, so Lizzie's now got to give me some for this trip that we're going on, because I only brought one pair. Um, <laughs> set yourself a lie then. Um, so now we're going out to get chocolate and some tonic to have a gin whilst we brainstorm for this podcast, which I feel is probably not a good idea tonight. Maybe we should do that tomorrow morning. I can't tell you about your brain. <laughs> everyone it's actually afternoon now um me and lizzie are feeling a bit more normal and human today she's able to, to string a sentence together and we've had no clumsy mishaps so far touch wood touch wood, touch wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. um so we just we've been to granger for breakfast as usual and then what are we doing oh we're working we're, we're podcast brainstorming um and waiting for britney to come so then we can all go to the train station together to go on this um, little trip away with Ro Copenhagen to not Leeds but Kent. <laughs> um, so it should be fun. It is really rainy though, so that's really annoying. It's just really weird weather. I know that I talk about the weather every single time that I come on to here, but yeah, it's what we've come to expect, isn't yeah, it? You have to talk about it. It's part of being British, actually. So I really should have washed my hair this morning, but I just literally didn't have it in me. So I think I'm just going to put more Batiste in it and then. That'd yeah, be fine. Yeah. So no one's judging you. No. Except me. Except Lizzie, who doesn't shower very often enough to be able to judge anyone. Can everyone stop making these rumours up about me? It's, it's true. Shower at least. Uh, what do they say? There's no smoke without fire. It's all lies. <laughs> I've had a shower this morning. Yeah, you did actually. I heard you. Well, I heard you in there, but I didn't see you in there. <laughs> oh, you rumbled me. Hello, you lot from Battle Hall in Leeds, which is in Maidstone, Kent, and not actual Leeds, Leeds. 
um, just checked in. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, the, a gentleman that works here called Simon has just given us a huge tour and a rundown of all the history and it's absolutely amazing and I love history. Um, I love history like this and I love finding out about what it used to be before and all its heritage and so I find that really exciting. Um, so I've just come into my room um, and when we got in here he was like this is the oldest room, the oldest part of the whole like manor house um, and it's got the original fireplace because this used to be, the, that's my suitcase, um, this used to be the main living room so the main entertaining area so that was the huge fireplace there. That's the little light up there. Yeah, little light up there. And then this is wild because look at the size of me and look at how kind of small this is. So this tiny little door here, like I can't, it's so, it's dead skinny. You can't really see how skinny it is, um, I don't think. But like it's, it's, I have to duck to get in it. And then here is like the turret stairs. So then they go, that's the original feature. So that used to go all the way up to the roof where they would like, I think battle from that's a really bad sentence I just said then but you get what I mean um, and then yeah, and then in here oh god this is gonna be dangerous in the night let me tell you uh, in here's a beautiful bathroom lots and lots of light and a big old bath I'm gonna have such a lovely bath later um yeah <laughs> look at that they've got little pads here as well so I don't well so people if you stay in here don't bump their heads in the night because I am such a are we in the night so I'll have to be careful back we go so yeah, so excited to be here. We've just met the team from Roe Copenhagen and they are so lovely. Um, so I'm just now gonna, I'm very, very hot, so I'm just trying to cool down, have a bit of water, and then go downstairs and explore and sit with the girls. And yeah, we've got dinner about seven. Lizzie and Britt are here as well, like I say. And yeah, so happy to be here. So I've just come downstairs now to meet Ella, who is from Roe Copenhagen, and she's amazing. And we're going to play Kaplunk, and she's going to explain the, wor the words, the instructions to me, because I can't remember how to play it. I think I've played it as a kid, um, but it's so peaceful. We've literally got the entire place to ourselves as well. <laughs> Your head was much bigger on the screen than I anticipated then. <laughs> just no, yeah. So. Good morning everyone from Battle Hall in Leeds, not Leeds. Um, we all woke up really early. Actually, we didn't wake up early, did we, Britt? No, we had a bit of a night. Me and Britt had a late. Um, we've had a really nice buffet style breakfast with loads of fruit and toast and avocado and stuff and then now we're just going to go for a walk and it's such a beautiful day like really gorgeous outside for an absolute change so that's good news for everyone um, and I think we're getting a train home maybe like one two ish and then um, because I live now quite near to Brit we can get the same train home which is nice um, so yeah I'll take you along where I can today um, and I'll catch up with you later and I hope you're all good. Hello kids. Hello everybody. Shop from the street here. Hello everybody. Oh. Brittany Bathgate. Oh. She always does that. She does. How's your rash, Britt? Britt's struggling with a really bad hay fever situation. I think the rash is gone. Yeah. It's now sort of like moved to the eye though. <laughs> it's not gone, it's just migrated. She's, she's just following us. What's following around is a, a roll of loo roll. I'm probably about five minutes away from a tissue. <laughs> Five minutes away. Five minute one for a tissue, guys. Hello, everyone. I'm back home, sweet home. I'm so happy to be here. Honestly, the feeling of walking back through the front door is like nothing else, which really means that I feel settled, which is so nice. I've come home to loads of deliveries for the house, so I'm gonna show you what I've got. 
So Arquette, I normally work with on a fashion basis and I absolutely love them. And they've got some really amazing homeware and lots of kind of like trinkets, but good linens and just really good quality stuff. And they've sent me like a selection of bits and bobs. I've got a huge box of stuff to open still there. But um, I, I just want to show you some stuff because it's just so good and it's quite inexpensive too. Um, so I got... I'll, um, yeah, I got a couple of these pots. So they're like a black ceramic pot with a lid um, that you can open off. And I thought they were great for the bathroom. So I could put like co cotton buds somewhere outside. There's a cat. Um, cotton buds and things like that, like cotton pads, sorry. Um, and then uh, a similar small one as well for other bits and bobs. So they, I thought they looked really nice together and they can be stacked in the bathroom. And then I got this geranium scented candle and actually Kim my friend uh, who's coming to stay this weekend bought me when me and James when James first moved in with me in London she bought me the hand soap to this and it's so lovely and it reminds me of all that time so we've got the uh, geranium tiny scented candle which will be good in the bathroom too um so this is something that nobody else will be excited over probably but in my adult life I've never owned an egg cup and I love boiled eggs so I try and chase them around my plate every time I do a boiled egg. So we have got two black matching little ceramic egg cups and I adore them. So they can go in my cupboard, that's great. Then I got, well I'll just pop you down for a sec. These actually, I'll show you. Just how I was saying about beautiful linens. Um, God, it's a mess here. These really gorgeous um, table mats, like place mats. So they're like a gorgeous chambray, bluey gray color. And we're changing our dining room table to be like black wood. So I think that would be so nice on there. Really, really happy with those. So we've got four. Um, but yes. Right, I'm going to show you the rest of the Arquette stuff. And then I've got such an exciting delivery to show you. That is also homeware. That is a set of chairs that I ordered from Pomona that I've been waiting for for about four weeks. And they're here. Right. Let's get into this then. <laughs> see me. people put their knives and forks on a really beautiful folded napkin next to the plate well this is it so i thought these natural beige ones would go really nicely with the chambray gray ones so yeah i'll show you how i do my table when i actually have the table and everything like and show you properly but i think it's really exciting so that's those oh tea towels look at those just great linen, like they're really, oh they're such lovely quality and I went in store as well to um, have a feel of everything, it's a bit funny about uh, materials and textures and stuff, oh they're good. And they're the kind of tea towel that you'll really feel that dry things and don't just swish the water around your plate when you're trying to dry stuff. Oh yeah, well pleased with them, got two of those. James always burns my tea towels so this is, a, it's good that we've got some new ones. He sets them on fire a lot. Uh, what is it here? Ages ago since I ordered this, so I can't remember what else we're expecting. This is always on about wanting like a serving bowl, like a big salad sharing bowl thing as well. So I think I ordered lots of those. The rules do. Excuse me. Oh, yes, it's that. It's that. It's massive. Mm. Look at that. That is the Oh, it's amazing. James is going to be so buzzing when he gets home. Um, so you can put a little uh, server in there and a server in there. I assume that's where you just like lean them. Oh, wow. It's huge. Like, look, at, I don't know how if you can, the size of my head. But I have got a small head, so there you go for reference. That's wonderful. That is, oh, it's made my day, that. Made my day. Okay, I don't think you're ready for these chairs. Are you ready? <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so they're the cane, original French folding chairs, and they're cane chairs. I am obsessed with them. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, I love them so much. 
I'm just gonna sit here on one of them and look at the rest of them. <sighs> oh. Oh. So happy. Also came home to some flowers from Love Purvis, who's an absolute dream boat. And I think these are peonies and I'm very excited because I've never actually had any in my house before. Um, yes, wowzers. Um, also, this is amazing. I love this. James keeps hiding this one. He doesn't like it as much. There, there they go. They're partners. Partners a pair. They're from Soho Home and I love them. One's like high shine ceramic and the other one's really matte. This lovely candelabra stick thing is from Lara Dude who I absolutely love for homeware. Uh, I'm just gonna get some little candles to put in there as well. Um, this little salt and pepper pot is not full yet because we need to buy some um, refills, but that's from H&M Home. And they're marble with like a little gold spoon in and on a gold tray and I think that's really sweet. I really like that a lot. And then an array of candles over here from various, various people. And I could just keep burning candles all the time. <sighs> so happy i am so happy just me again in my chairs just here to talk some more to you about the chairs <laughs> no i'm kidding i just wanted to show you these linen table uh, blah, 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 blah. linen um table placemats too um i absolutely love them these are from lara Du, and can you see there's like the most beautiful like neutral grain in them and i really like the cross stitch at the side um, oh, I love them so much. They're like a neutrally, really pale pink, but I love them. So I can alternate between those and my Arquette ones, but I'll put these on for tonight. Okay, me again, I promise I'm gonna go now. But just to show you how like a table setting might look here. Um, on some napkins, the little placemat and a plate. I mean, it's very simple stuff, but it's stuff I'm very much into at the minute. James is gonna be wowed when he comes home. <laughs> wild <laughs> good morning everybody it's friday today um, and i'm off into london um it's such a beautiful day i'm just waiting for my cab to the station i've got a couple of meetings i'm on my hair done um i'm training with danielle today and then i'm going for dinner with lauren so i've got such a nice day and it like i say it looks gorgeous out so i'm buzzing my only issue this morning is that i've just dropped my hair curling wand on my leg and fumbled so much that I couldn't catch it or pick it up so it sat there and I squealed and it's really sore can you see the blister is coming all of that is so bloody painful I don't know what to do with it I'm just just hope just trying to ignore the stink oh Christ anyway <laughs> today I'm wearing a big boys oversized white sweater from ASOS which I love it's just the ASOS design collection it's about, honestly it was about 16 quid or something um and the story's belt, gold signed jeans as always, and my flattered mules. And then I'm just going to take my Burberry bag and some sunglasses into town with me. Um, I'm wearing my Masoma hoops as well. Um, can you see? Yeah, love those so much. So I wear those. But yes, I'll take you along where I can today. It's a bit of a back-to-back -back one, but like I say, I will try my best. I hope you're okay. Hello, everyone from Liddy's house. I am, <clears throat> I've just popped in, she's just popped out to get her nails done, she's going on holiday today, lucky devil. Um, I popped in, what did I do? Oh, come to collect a parcel that I need to take back and I've uh, brought some trainers. And yes, now I'm to go and get my hair done with Harriet at Larry King because it's gone really warm in the sun and I didn't have it done that long ago. I had it done before I went to Spain, but it's it's grown so quickly, look at my roots. And um, it's just gone all a bit, a bit too warm in the sun and it's a bit, yeah, it needs a bit of TLC, so I'm not having it cut, um, but I'm gonna have the blonde redone, and then I'm gonna go and train with Danielle, and then dinner with Loza, I can't wait. It's been such a nice day so far, and it's beautiful outside. So yeah, that's it really. Pop these in and listen to some music, and I'm away, away. Hello everyone, I'm back from my day in London, and it's been re a really, really good day today. <laughs> James off to the shower and he's in the nuddy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been such a nice day. I've just literally got in, it's like half nine. Um, and me and James are gonna get in bed and watch a new, I think it's been on a while, a period drama called, not about periods, um, called Gentleman Jack. And it's got Saran Jones in it from Dr. Foster, etc., etc. Absolutely amazing woman. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm flipping knackered. I've had a lovely day, but I'm tired. Uh, what else? 
Lois is having a birthday party tomorrow because she's two. So I've been out for dinner with Lauren, which was gorgeous. Been training. I'm literally all over the show here, and I'm telling you what I've done today. I must have told you five times. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do food shop in the morning. And then we're going to Lois's birthday party because she's two. And then we're going to get the house a bit more prepped and get um, the spare room ready for Kim and Simon because they're coming to stay. And we're going out um, into the local city tomorrow night to a really beautiful restaurant that we've been recommended to go to. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to have them here. So excited. I've missed them loads since um, since Spain because I've seen them for a couple of weeks. And we had like a, a big burst of like lots of time together because of over the wedding and all, and all of that. And then it'd be so nice to just have them here because it'll make us feel even more settled in after having like Lizzie here, James's family, my family are yet to come because they're on holiday. And just to slowly have everybody here and everyone knows our new place and all of that kind of jazz. But now I'm gonna take all my makeup off and get in bed. I really envy boys at this time of night because they can just literally fall into bed. And now I've got to do a whole routine but I went out, I'm gonna go and do that routine instead of moaning about it and speak to you tomorrow. Have a lovely night, bye. Good morning everyone. Um, it's Saturday today and we've had a really busy morning already, me and James. We've been to Aldi to the food shop, which is just life changing still. Um, and we've put some art up. So my favorite piece is up now in the kitchen there. Um, and we've done some other bits and bobs around the house and now we're just rushing because we've got uh, Lois's birthday to get to all the pink and bikinis and things for a little holiday, a little Peppa Pig ball, a doctor's set, you name it, she's got it. Um, so yeah, and then we're just gonna pick Kim and Simon up, it keeps going dark, sorry, uh, from, I was gonna say the airport then, but we're not that far away, uh, from the train station, uh, like tea time-ish. So I'll just show you what I'm wearing really quickly, because it's so hot today. Why is this bloody camera being an absolute arsehole? There, okay. So I'm just wearing uh, like a ribbed, a ribbed H&M um, like knitted vest. Can you see? Yes. And then some um, really gorgeous loose linen shorts from Under the Stories um, with a drawstring. So you've got plenty of room for eating in those. Um, and then um, just some shoes. I love these. The little Hessian sandals from John Lewis from a partnership that I did with them. Um, my, my blister, I dropped my curling tongs on my leg yesterday. Look at that. I think I might have showed you this yesterday, but anyway, absolutely hideous. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with it. I slept with cling film on it, and I'm just hoping for a miracle today. Pure miracle. Um, but I think I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna go for today. I'm gonna leave my vlog camera behind just because it's obviously Lowe's birthday and we're just gonna be, it's gonna be carnage. Um, I can't wait to spend some time with all their family and stuff, so. Yeah, I'm gonna go for today and then I will catch up with you tomorrow. Have a lovely day, bye. Hello everyone. Oh, it's blurry and bright. What the heck? Honestly, this camera. Um, me and James are gonna have to go. <laughs> gonna go out for a Sunday roast now. Um, both of us are knackered. Even though we, on, we stayed up until like maybe one. Um, it was such a good night and I, feel quite sick from the wine i really don't want to eat a roast dinner right now but we've booked it so we should go because i'll only be hungry later um just been sat doing some work on my sofa formula one's on simon got our tv working we've not had it working you know i've been going on about my bt for like two weeks so that at least the tv works now the wi-fi is yet to go through the whole house it's just like small little pockets of wi-fi where i can sit and work and not use my data all up on my phone just stop recording by myself by accident. Uh, that's all I've got to tell you really, I think. Very slow Sunday this end, um, really nice, really chilled. Uh, I hope you're all lovely and well and have had a gorgeous weekend too. I, yeah, I'm gonna go now, but thanks so much for watching as always. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and then I'll catch you in my next video, um, which, will, which I will endeavor to be next week sometime. <laughs> okay, see you later.